Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a product in Shopify using the GraphQL API in Node.js. So let's get started. Before we dive into the code, make sure you have installed Node.js and the Shopify API module and the .env module as well. If you have not done that yet, I will show you how you can do that. So first, let's set up our project. Open your terminal and create a new directory for your project. So type mkdir shopify-graphql-create-product. In my case, I will name that Shopify GraphQL Create Product. You can name it anything you like. So I will hit enter. Now I will move into that directory. For that, I will type cd Shopify GraphQL and Shopify dash GraphQL dash create dash product and hit enter. Now I am inside that directory. Now I will type npm init space minus y. It will create the package.json file so I can install the uh, modules. I will type npm install Shopify dash api dash node this is the shopify api node module then we need dot env module as well and i will hit enter it will take a few seconds to install both modules shopify api node module and dot env modules they are both installs let clear the screen now we need to open this project into a code editor so i will type code dot and it will open my project in visual studio code which is my default editor now i will create a new file dot env and here i will have two modules uh, two variables one is Shopify access token and the second one is Shopify store. This is my access token and this is my store URL. Please make sure you are not going to share with anyone because they are very confidential. That's why I'm putting in the .env file and I am going to delete them after making this video. Next, we need a file and I will name it create product.js here I need to call these two modules so let me copy and paste the code this is require.env.config this will call the .env module and the second one is calling the Shopify API node module and the next thing we are going to create the module uh, going to create the instance of Shopify so for that we have a new Shopify instance and in the object we have shop name and access token shop name is coming from the .env file process.env.shopify underscore this is my variable which is stored over here and it will fetch my store URL and the second variable will fetch the access token which is which I have saved in .env file. So save this file and let's write the function to create the product. So I will type const create product is equal to a sync function and there is an arrow function and inside that I will have try and catch block 
and in try and catch block i will type console dot error error creating the product in case of if we have any error and in the try block i will type this function const response await shopify dot graphql this is the mutation we are going to write in a second and i will pass the mutation in graphql function and in the response i will have this response and console.log product created and i stringify the response so we can see what is the response of the product once it is created so let me just copy and paste the mutation i will paste over here <clears throat> so this is my mutation i put that into a variable then a tablet string and a mutation in the mutation we have a product create function and we will pass the input and inside the input object we have a title this is a new graphql product title body html you will die pass the body of of body of the html of your product then vendor your vendor name and product type your product type let's move that we don't need this and then uh, tag tag one and tag two and the variant in the variant array we have a title default title and price and sq then uh, in the response we have a product id and title so this is how you can write the mutation query let's run this function create product and save that open the terminal let me open the terminal on the right side so you can see what's going on i will type node create product node.js and hit enter as you can see our product is created successfully we got the response a product uh, ID and the product title and there are no errors so let's go back to our store this is my store as you can see I don't have new product and if I reload now we have a new GraphQL product which is here and as you can see we have the SQ we have the price and we have the body in GraphQL and we have the tag. Let's try another one and type product two and four tag five and save that and run this function again. And now we have the second product. And if I go back to the products, and you will see we have the second product as well over here. And that's it. You have learned how to create a product in Shopify using GraphQL API in Node.js. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you need further assistance or have any question, feel free to contact me on Fiverr or Upwork. I offer professional help and can assist you with your Shopify projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.